Hey guys, so um, I've been trying to learn machine learning, uh, Dynamo, and I want to use the Dynamo and pull room information out, and uh, such as area or perimeter and family types, so that I can start using ML or machine learning to look at a room and based off of the area or the types of families in there I can then kind of have a good guess on what type of room that's going to be so right now I'm using the sample project and I want to talk about this because it's a learning journey of my own and it's all specific around BIM ML and data so it this is a new thing for me uh, I'm, I don't have a lot of experience in ML none really at all other than just kind of being interested in it and I thought this was a cool project to start so uh, this is kind of a, a basic outline of what I want to do so it's going to start with resources and projects so that's what this video is going to be about I want to share the different resources I've been using and I want to talk about the project so and then the next video is going to be on the dynamo so breaking down how i'm extracting that data and breaking down um how i'm getting that out so that i can use it in azure machine learning and then we're going to get uh um and then i'm going to talk more in depth on really how all the nodes work and stuff so getting the room information using dynamo and then tying families to rooms using dynamo and this may change and alter based off of what I find and learn. So, but this is kind of a starting outline. Just give me a, a road to kind of follow. And then I'll move along and I'll get that information out and then tie it into Azure Machine Learning. And then prepping and cleaning the data when I have it on the Machine Learning uh, Studio. So I'm going to prep and clean it. Clean it. Um, I'm going to identify how I'm going to best approach that. So I'll I'll do uh, really a number of things because there's there's a lot of different ways that you can clean data, either getting into metadata or nor normalize it or, you know, uh, cleaning it um, and uh, selecting specific columns. So and then there's a lot more that I don't know. So I'm going to mess around with that and then I'll share my kind of learning experience along you know that journey so and then we'll we'll get into like choosing a specific algorithm that I'll tie in and train uh, the model with and then scoring and then eventually getting out that information and then I'll do that on a number of, of models and then maybe do a comparison of two different algorithms and seeing what the best results are and then I'll launch it through Azure Machine Learning so that we can visually see it and then I can share it that way. And then I can start inputting new information through a site and then hopefully getting me to have a good prediction of what type of room it is based off of families and area and, and, and whatnot. So that's kind of the basic outline. Uh, so I, I like to talk about the resources. I briefly said something about the project, but I want I'll come back to that. I want to share the resources I've been using. So I'll drag over a window I have open. So one of a great one that I've been using is Machine Learning Guide, and that's a podcast I've been listening to on uh, uh, my my iPhone. So through the App Store or through. Pod, the podcast app I can listen to it but it has a number of others such as Google Play Stitchers custom and I'll share all these links so that you guys can check it out yourself so I've been using this and this is a nice brief overview and he structures the course in that way and he shares a lot of good content um, kind of in the same way that I'm trying to do this just to share uh, great resources with his audience and so I've been taking a lot from that and and I think it's a nice thing to just passively listen to while you're doing other things such as cleaning your house or, or driving to work. I, I, I use mine mostly when I'm driving to work or if I'm doing laundry and stuff. So uh, that leads me to my next one, which is a course on Coursera, and I actually learned it from his podcast. So I definitely recommend this. So that's Coursera, and this is uh, taught by Andrew Ng, and um, 
you uh as far as i know i've already enrolled this it should be free i think for anybody and it's an app that you can download on your phone so you can access it through there and then also uh through the desktop as well and um, i'm kind of new to coursera so i'm not entirely sure of everything that you can do with it but it seems to be pretty intuitive compared to some of the other platforms that do the same thing uh so far i like it a lot and it seems that his information is really easy to follow and here's the uh the main author of this and it's a recommendation again from that podcast and i i actually like it and what i like is it's kind of giving me a understanding of ml because there's a lot of complex topics and a lot of nitty-gritty that you have to get through um and i think he does it pretty well in explaining it and showing the benefits and you know how you can use it so uh again i'll share this link um in this uh video just kind of check the uh um uh, information out down at the bottom of the video the next one i want to come to is mark keith and this guy has a lot of a lot of awesome content um and what i specifically care about is if you go into his his playlist he has organized his playlist to uh different topics and if he has one for azure machine learning studio and if we press on that it takes us to all his videos and he has quite a bit and he's uploading them constantly. Um, his content's really great because uh, it's all tied into Microsoft Azure Machine Learning. And that's the primary thing that I'll be using uh, for really my ML journey. Uh, I found that it's really intuitive and easy. And I'll show you that in just a bit. It, um, and he covers a ton of topics. So it's, it's a huge recommendation if, if it's something you want to learn. And that brings me to the Microsoft uh, Learning Studio. So our machine learning studio, it's developed by Microsoft Azure. And if you come to the site, you can get started from here and it's free. Uh, there is some paid versions and it's gonna give you some, some uh, extra benefits. But for now, uh, I think it works for what I'm doing. And in the same area of Microsoft, we got a uh, kind of like, um, if anybody's familiar with Dynamo, it's like the Dynamo Prime. It breaks down into everything that has to do with Azure Machine Learning Studio. And this is where I generally go when I want to learn about the different uh, uh, models or different nodes that I'm bringing into the, the Azure Machine Learning uh, environment. And so, you know, for example, I wasn't entirely sure of what normalized data was, and you can search that in here because it's a node within, and I could, I could be wrong off the terminology of nodes. It's not, that's not what they call them in here, but it kind of looks the same as Dynamo, so I just use that same terminology. But you can come to this interface and you can search, you know, the different ones that they have in there, and it'll give you a brief uh, overview of what it is and then tell you, um, uh, some examples and even show some code if if, if that's it, applicable um, and then that kind of you know we get into the actual uh, Microsoft is um, Azure machine learning studio and this is I really like this it's it's set up to where um, it's really easy and to and intuitive uh, it's not you don't have to do a lot of back-end setup it's all ran in the cloud and using their servers so you can set up uh, experiments and then test them and just play around with them and if i simply just open this up i've already started an experiment and this was following a a course i found uh and um this is just breaking down titanic uh, uh data that i found on kaggle and it's a pretty common data science uh, or machine learning uh, data set that people like to use. It's, it's pretty easy and it has a lot of information there. But as you can see, it's just really, I mean, you're just taking these, these nodes and you're tying them into uh, the next ones. And they work in almost the same way as Dynamo. You can break them out and you just simply tie them together. And when it's green, it means that the information is, is being correctly uh, connected. And if it's shown as red, then the information uh, is not supposed to connect there. So if I show that example, we can pull this down and we can see that over here that's red. It's going to highlight as red and say, hey, that can't connect, connect here. And uh, 
it's kind of a flow of information as you see it starts from the top and moves down and then just shows you know you kind of moving through the data and getting you know eventually an algorithm and, and a, a data set that you're going to pull uh, estimations from and, and predictions and over here to the left you can break into different things and then grab your nodes and it's just drag and drop really so I find that it's really easy to learn and I felt like it was a good way to get into machine learning without spending a massive amount of time even when I'm still learning a lot of the other things when it has to do with BIM and uh, Revit and Dynamo and such so um, that brings me to my next thing and that's gonna be the project so as I said before this is kinda using the sample project uh, file that most people should have access to and I'm gonna use this one as just a premise to get uh, my my room information out and to eventually get families tied into it and really get a good data set pulling from Revit um, uh, projects and then eventually trying to quantify that to a number of projects so I can pull them across um, uh, you know just a variety of different models and then getting that data and then eventually testing it so uh, and I thought this was a good project because it seems simple enough um, and I want to share the journey that I'm kind of going along and just share it with you and just have a documentation of my progress through it for myself as well and I'm going to share the links and, and what I learned throughout this process so that you guys can learn as well if it's something that you want to do and I think that's about it really uh, I showed you Dynamo I've got the Revit project I've got um, I've showed you Azure and then some of my uh, kind of resources I've been using currently um, check them out let me know uh, comment share this uh, like it um, let me know if you have any questions and I really appreciate you watching thanks a lot